Hello and welcome back. Uh, yeah, I'm sick. But uh, I have a little bit of an unboxing and review today. Even though I'm sick. I don't care. I do what I want. I got this today, and I really wanted to open it. I wanted to do an unboxing on here and review it a little bit. I normally don't buy the three and three quarter figures simply because they will usually look awful. And uh, also, I'm going to be playing this today and probably for the rest of eternity because. This is legendarily known as being one of the hardest survival horror games of all time, so it's going to be fun. Let's get into this, though. So, first of all, I wanted to talk about this because I've seen these everywhere. It's actually crazy. They're, this one specifically seems to be pretty popular, or it's extremely unpopular and it's been on the shelves a lot. But... I found it interesting because it uses Force Link, which is pretty much the same thing as this. Um, I don't know if anybody remembers these. This was... Wow, this is dusty. Just a second. These were early 2000s, uh, Episode 1 era. The ComTech. Basically, every figure came with... Every three and three-quarter figure came with one of these beauties you hear that wind outside Jeez. anyway very nice holographic uh, scanny card thing with a bit of info you know and you scan it on here and literally programs the buttons to catch phrases from this character or whatever character it is also, these characters are literally the best figures I've seen in this size, like, ever. Um, they're just so well done. You know, I don't know who was in charge back then, but check him out. So sick. But... This is different. This is Force Link, and the card is just inside of the figures. Um, I do not have the whatchamacallit, but uh, it's not going to stop me from enjoying these figures. I also bought this because of the ridiculousness. And it comes with quite a few accessories, so let's unbox it. And no, I'm not keeping the box. Because the box looks like crap. Which seems to be a theme with these smaller figures. They just don't care. Uh, the Black Series does look pretty good. As far as the 3 and 3 quarter. But these just look bad to me. Ta-da! So before we get into this jumbled mess, let's check this out. In case you don't know how to apply a flamethrower jetpack, which I'm sure none of you do, as well as how to use your force link thingy that I don't have. Um, I will get one eventually, and I'll probably review that as well, and how well it works with everything else. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to jump cart and have all this out. So, here's all the accessories and the figures. Let's dive right in to Han. Oh, my God. This is why I don't buy the three and three quarter figures. Wow. 
What happened to his eyes? Gosh. That's bad. Um, however, the figures are pretty basic. Not much articulation. They never have a whole lot. Um, but the coat is kind of separate. Which gives it some depth. It comes with this blaster. His legendary blaster. Maybe, 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 yeah. Pew pew. Also, what's nice about these is everything fits in the holsters. As expected. So, Han, not so great. But this is why I bought this, really. Um, let's get into it. This is a really good Boba Fett, to be honest with you. Um, the paint on the head is great. The helmet. You know, pretty much everything just looks really good. He's kind of, I don't know if you can tell, but he's in his... I'm so cool, I'm leaning against the wall stance. And you can really tell from behind because of the way his jetpack's sitting and his legs are. Um, something I wanted to touch on was his uh, tassel cape thing. It looks really good. Um, however, my biggest worry right now is how soft this is. It's going to bust. Um, helmet is great. Articulation is little to none. Yada yada. But this figure just looks really good. And that's why I wanted this so bad. So I bought it. And I got it on clearance for like 8 bucks. So it's pretty decent steal. Um, his accessories include his rifle blaster. And his small blaster, and this. <laughs> um, yeah, jump cart. Dear God. Um, I'm just gonna say it. If he would have had this in uh, Empire Strikes Back, I'm pretty sure it would have been a really short movie. Um, <laughs> this looks cool, but it is real ridiculous. Um, and on top of that, you can put this on there, still. So now it's mega jetpack action. And now it looks silly. Um, the flames. Very reminiscent of the Fantastic Four toys. Uh, Johnny Blaze. I got one right here. Hold on. Well, I mean, I, I, I broke him when I was younger but yeah I mean you're getting the same kind of vibes actually this looks more realistic to me but yeah I mean that's pretty sick and uh, this is cool actually pretty good for display you can display it like this like dead but uh, let's see how the accessories look other than this one Let's give him both guns, because he's hardcore. Never mind, this doesn't fit. And this, come on. Pew, pew. Uh, yep. So, yep. Pretty, pretty nice. These are pretty good for display. This one is at least. Maybe not so much Han, but uh, let's see if we can get this in his hand. Oh my gosh. Just as I figured this does not fit in either hand, his most legendary gun doesn't fit, so uh, m well, my general assumption on this whole set here is crap it's not great 
Um, you know, obviously, when it's the smaller figures, you're not looking for the highest quality. Most likely, you're looking to get this for your kids, or if you just collect the smaller figures, you know, it's good. You got it. These, you know, I don't think Han looks too bad. Well... And a comparison, early 2000s, uh, 2017, these are supposed to be the same scale, but uh, obviously they're not. Also, much better quality plastic, and uh, he's actually got a better head sculpt, so not bad, except for those eyes.